Hello guys, welcome back to the bench. And today we're going to do a quick review of my Grex airbrush. This is the Tritium, Tritium TG3. Now three means uh, a 0.3 millimeter nozzle. Um, it comes in, I think it comes in a five and it comes in a 0.7, which is large. Uh, but they have needles that you can buy and nozzles kits. I think they're 35. You get the needle, the nozzle, and the and the uh, head piece. So um, those come in a two, a, a three, a five, and a seven. So depending on which model you buy, you can get any needle nozzle combination and uh, upgrade your airbrush, which I think is a great feature for any airbrush to have. At least they're upgradable, you know. Let me get this out of the way. It comes in a really, really nice package. And get this. It comes with three cups. How great is that? Let's see what sizes they are. It's written on the box. A 2 mil, a 7 mil, and a 15 millimeter. So, not bad. Uh, 1 20th ounce, a quarter ounce, and a... Looks like a half ounce, yeah, 15. Uh, that's basically the size of my uh, my uh, Mecca Empire paints. That's uh, that's 15. Same size, and they also the the Model Masters, same size. But um, the uh, this seems to be their color, kind of almost an Xbox green color. Um, you have the wrench to take the nozzle off, the little nozzle, and you have two crown pieces, which is pretty unique. I'm going to show you that in a second. And another good feature, they give you a cap for each cup. And um, look at that, one for each cup. And my Harder and Steinbeck don't even come with the caps. You gotta buy them separate, and they're like 20 bucks a piece. So each one has its own little cap. I think that's wonderful, particularly for this large one. If you fill this up, you're gonna load up a lot of primer. The cap on it is a great idea. And they just screw off like. Most others, all Teflon fittings, so uh, solvent proof. Let's see how these other ones fit on. All Teflon. And they says if you want to do a quick job, you don't even need it. It's kind of like a built-in cup in and of itself, and that's pretty, it's pretty big. That holds a lot of paint right there. It might be most of the paint that I would use just for showing you guys when we spray a spoon. Now, here's a unique feature. The crown pieces, here's one here. Let's get both of them out so I can show you. This has the cutaway type, see it? So you can clean the needle. If you're doing acrylics, you wanna get some, uh, you're getting some dry, dry, bra dry needle, dry tip, and uh, this way you can get your brush in there and clean off the tip while you're working. Sorry, turning away from the mic, guys. But check this out. It just comes right off, it's a magnet. There's no one screwing it at all. And um, you can actually go without it. If you want to get really close, but protection, you're going to want the open. Um, if you're not getting in close, you're just spraying, you want to protect the needle, you can use this one. Let me show you quick. Magnet. Right on. Now, where do you store it? There's a magnet on the back. There it is. And it's on there pretty good. And it'll hold either one. There you go. It's a magnet. It's pretty tough. I think that's a pretty cool design. Uh, you also can uh, you have a, a stopper. You can adjust how far you want the trigger to go in. Uh, it's really, really built well. And um, at first, I wasn't crazy about the results I was getting. I think it was the type of paint I was using. Uh, I can't remember what acrylic I was using, but I went back and tried some of my Mecca Empire paints, and they, they went on great. And I notice how comfortable this is. Now my other trigger airbrush is my Procon 290. This is a .5 with a fan cap or the regular size cone cap. But um, no handle. So very uncomfortable to hold this one. Because you, you kind of, you're holding the hose. Now they make a handle for this. It's the same as the Iwata handle. Even that's 30 bucks, I think, before shipping for a plastic handle. And, and you screw in the, the bottom. It comes with a pipe. 
that connects the two. But uh, at that point, you're at uh, the price point of this one. Uh, you get a fan cap with this, but this one you get all of the different uh, uh, cup sizes. And um, this is great, but at a point five, this pushes a lot of paint. You literally can paint and just watch the paint just go right down. That's how much paint this pushes out. This is good when I do a primer, particularly a 148 scale aircraft. I might prime the whole thing in. If it's all gray, I'll use that too. But this being a point three, I can get almost everything that I want done except fine details. Um, I can't do that. Now, I might go ahead and order the rest of the needles, and we're going to test those out. And um, we'll see how those look. Now, when you go to clean it, you're going to pull the back off. The needle itself, let's see if I can show you guys up close. It has three notches in it. One, two, three. And that signifies it's a 3.3 millimeter needle. So it's a good way of identifying uh, which needle if you buy several needles. Um, it's got the same design that the uh, Hodder and Steinbeck have. It has a nice cone shape here. So the needle, when you go to put it in, doesn't really get uh, banged up. It's almost like a funnel shape. And it goes um, right in nice and smooth. I haven't broken it down yet. I'm going to do that in a separate video when I show you how to clean uh, different types of airbrushes. We'll pull the trigger mechanism out and we'll do that on a separate video. But you do want to pull the needle off. You want to clean it for the end of the day. Now, when they want you to clean it, they recommend you open the back, loosen, pull out the needle a little bit, tighten it. And then as you flush it, they want you to in and out and it kind of flushes the needle clean without having to actually pull the needle out. And uh, we'll try that today as we spray a couple of colors here. Um, let's pull this out so I can show you. Pulling off the front. And um, that comes off really nice. It's really, really machined nicely. There you go. There's your cap. And it comes with the wrench. No need to pop her off now. But uh, I like how it comes with all the different shapes. I believe it fits right around it. It does. It, I mean, that's, that's a terrific one. Um, my Procon and uh, one of my other ones has a wrench that has the open ends and you got to kind of look where it's going. This fits right over it beautifully, shaped just like a regular wrench you would use in the car. Um, I do like that feature. Uh, I've gotten used to the different nozzle type that um, my Badger has and that is this type of needle nozzle. Let me show you. And that's it. That is the, without having to use a wrench at all. This is why I've been using this a lot lately because it's just so easy to clean um, when I'm doing tons of colors, particularly for a test. And I got a couple of new uh, badges I just got in. Now this assembles it right there. We just drop that back in, come in straight down. Tough to do on camera, guys. And that's it. We're back in. So no wrench required on uh, these badgers, which comes in handy when you're doing a lot of projects like I do when I'm doing test videos for colors. But I do like this style a lot of my pro cons. You know, very, pre very precise atomization of the paint. Uh, you really can't go wrong with both. But again, with this type of wrench, um, really, really helps quite a bit. So let's go ahead and put this cap back on. And it just fits so nice. And it's got a bit of heft to it, but it's very comfortable. Very comfortable. And sometimes I like to put my finger up here on the trigger and I can kind of slow it down a little bit. It depends um, your style of spraying. But uh, that's it. Now it goes for all different kinds of air pressure. Of course, it depends on what you're painting. Uh, I'm going to set it at 20 for everything. I'm going to see how everything goes at 20 PSI. And um, we'll take it from there. I like to see uh, how each paint performs with the same air pressure across the board. Uh, all right, so that's it. Now uh, we can pick our crown or we can leave it open. I'm going to be banging this around a little bit, so let's magnetize that one right on there. And um, we'll take it from there. All right, here's what we're going to do. We are going to... Attach a quick, my quick release 
for the end of my hose that I keep on my compressor. This is actually a Grex branded uh, quick release and it fits in my universal holder. I got that at Robot Kai. I love this thing, but it isn't cheap. Uh, I get a lot of requests about it, but it is uh, it is 15 bucks for this thing. And I was going to buy a bunch for my airbrushes, but at 15 bucks, man, it's uh, it's up there. But it's great for the video presentation. That's that's why I got at least one. So here's what we're going to paint. We're going to paint uh, Mr. Color Lacquer. We'll do an acrylic. We'll do a model. Uh, what's this? Game Air from Vallejo. Vallejo. Uh, Tamiya. We'll do one of theirs. Uh, X14 Sky Blue. Very nice color. And um, this is a color I'm working on for my uh, Mecha Empire lineup. This is Graphite. Here it is here. Graphite Mecha Empire on the front. Really nice color. And I think this is actually ready to go. Uh, quick note, I have a ton of new colors coming soon at least 60 in the lineup individually sold not in sets as a matter of fact we'll be breaking this down into individual colors too so a lot of a lot of stuff happening on my end as far as my paint lineup and that's coming very soon uh, within this month but we'll test this this is an enamel we'll try that in there too and uh we'll go with these these four are good that should give us the a gamut of an, an acrylic hybrid acrylic a real acrylic we got a uh, we're gonna use a lacquer and we're gonna use an enamel and in the background you can see I got a bunch of new paints and uh, we'll be testing a lot of stuff going forward I have many items to test anyway this is hot water that I'm gonna clean out the uh, Vallejo with and then uh, everything else uh, I will thin with my Mecha Empire uh, leveling thinner which just came out I don't know if it's on the website yet but it should be up this week and if you don't have that yet it's just got on the market I recommend leveling thinner from uh, Mr. Color. And uh, that's it. I'll pick a color here. We'll mix some up. And uh, we will get going on the test of the Grex Tritium airbrush. I'll see you guys at the booth. All right, guys. First up is Mr. Color, number eight, silver. And uh, what you're going to notice is it pushes a lot of paint. I mean a lot of air you're gonna notice that it pushes a lot of air and with it a lot of paint and um, that's the reason why I like it for certain projects like painting this wing and whatnot uh, well watch the amount of paint this pushes out but it doesn't go through it as quickly as the Procon get the dust off of this Look at that. I mean, I could have this whole kit painted in probably five minutes, this 148 scale bomber. Look at that. Let's try it over a uh, spoon. There you go. Now they recommend when you clean it out, you know, let's uh let's paint a little more with it. Wow, man. Alright, let me grab some thinner and we'll uh, go through the process of how they recommend you clean it out. Let me pause the camera, be right back. All right, I'm gonna put some lacquer thinner in it. All right, let me dump this out in my dump cup over here. All right, that's the first batch through. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna back flush it. Um, you can just put your finger over it, make sure you don't get your hand caught. Let's take off the cap. See it? The cap will give us a little bit of air leak. This way it will give us a tight go at it. And it's just, it's bubbling up inside. See it? And that, you can just dump out, because you're going to get all the metallic out, is what you want to do. You want to get all that metallic flake out. 
get your Q-tip. You can dunk it in your lacquer thinner if you want. You can go down, give it a little swirl, but uh, it should be pretty clean after that. Particularly after silver, it doesn't leave a lot of pigment behind. Put your cap back on the front. Now, um, here what they recommend, let's try it, is to loosen it, pull it out a little bit, and to just flush some through. And by pulling it in and out, I guess we're uh, basically cleaning the needle. And uh, you know what? Let's see if it does work. Let's undo it and pull out the needle. And let's see what we got. Yeah, it looks pretty clean. Little bit there, see it? Very little. But that is not enough to interfere to going on to a next color. And this is what they recommend uh, to move on to the next color, what we just did. And I'll do that the rest of the way. I'll use hot water like I do for my acrylic. But uh, everything else will be the same. I'll flush it with lacquer and then uh, maybe a little acetone. And then uh, when I'm totally done, I'll pull it out and wipe the needle clean. But uh, yeah, it seems to clean really nice. It cleans up really well, actually. So, I'll lock that in there. Let me get this out of the way. And we'll move on to the next color. Alright guys, next up will be my uh, almost released Graphite Mecha Empire Graphite Enamel. Let's spray this over some uh, black primer. Here we go. Very comfortable, guys. I gotta say it. It is super comfortable. That is a beautiful color. Look at that. Wow, that's awesome. Let's try it on the back of that plate. Plastic plate. Wow, really nice. It covers really quickly, too. Wow, that's awesome. Very good. Exact color I was looking for, too. Speaking of the color itself. All right, we'll let that dry. We'll move on to, uh, we'll grab the Tamiya, and we'll see how that works. All right, guys, next up is Tamiya X14. Sky blue. All right, let's see what we got. They've been out of my spoons. I got these inferior ones on Amazon. They're terrible. But... Wow, look how... Yeah, this covers in no time. No time. It's funny because it's quick, you get your jobs done fast, but not necessarily because it's so comfortable compared to my other airbrush. Let's see, uh, let's see if we can get in close here. I'll grab a piece of paper. I imagine I gotta turn the air way down. I took the cap off. No, that's not bad. I mean, you really got to be dainty. If you think you're going to be heavy on your hands, just dial this back and put the stopper where you can stop it right at this point if you want, you know, let's say. That's way in, let's say. Now I'm just pulling it back all the way. You know, it's pretty impressive. It's pretty impressive. I can go in even further, let's say. I don't know if anything is coming out now. I don't think so. Oh, there it is. I'm pulling it as hard as I can. It's just hitting the stopper. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Think of what you can do if you bought the, the .2 uh, millimeter needle. 
if I'm doing this with the point three, you can just drag the front of it across. So that's as fine as I can get that. That's pretty good though. That is pretty good. And then you bang a rail leg all the way back out. And you can even get a fatter line. And where I had it, I had it pulled way back for the spoon, you know. Like that. Turns it into almost a spray can. Real nice. Real nice. Wow, this will get the job done. Oh, that was it for paint. I blew through it. I'm using the small cup, so didn't hold that much. All right, let me put that out of the way. Let me clean this out. We'll try the... Uh, the Vallejo acrylic, and then we'll wrap this up. All right, let's do it. The Vallejo Game Air. What color is this? Imperial Blue. Nice. Let's try it with some gray primer. Wow. That's blue, all right. Whoa. That's a beautiful blue. Wow. Let's see how it sprays the acrylic over here. We're we going close with this one. Yes, we can. Very nice. Hey, it just works. Let's try one of these crappy new spoons I got. They're all pitted, they're, they're just awful. The search is on for better spoons. See it? It's making all, look at it. They're just awful. Oh, they're terrible doesn't reflect well in the airbrush which of course over these proper spoons just looks awesome all right these actually dry flat so we'll let that dry out all right guys let me go clean this out head back to the bench we'll check out the results oh sorry guys I hit the camera as I always do and uh, we'll wrap this up all right guys just as I expected it the results are just really 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 good um, it's not cheap so you better get <laughs> the results I expect and uh, I did and um, this was all at 20 psi if you want to get tight and get your lines in even though I did these lines at 20 psi I mean look at how I got this down to a pencil line hold on one second guys I think I have something I can write on here we can compare the line with you know here's my pen and we'll just draw it next to the line. Yeah, it's the same. There's no difference. I mean, I got it down to a pen line size. And that was on 20 PSI. So uh, I imagine if you guys really want to work with details, you just get the point two for this. And you're on your way. But this is the point three. I just took the front cap off, the protection cap, and got in a little closer. Or you can use the uh, the crown cap that comes, the also, that comes with it also. But, uh, yeah, look at that. I thought I was doing good coming in this close. I didn't realize. And once you dial in the back, the stopper, you can just pull it in all you might and then just come in close and you're going to get the same line every time. So, uh, pretty impressive. And it pushes a lot of air out. So to get that without really splattering means it atomizes the paint really well. Anyway, the Mr. Silver, Mr. Color, Silver number 8. Look at this. Are you going to get better even results in this? I mean, this is uh, this is as good as my other airbrushes that I love. I mean, this is really impressive. I did this, what did you guys say, five seconds, ten seconds, this whole wing. Here it is on the, the spoon with the primer. This is across the gloss plastic plate. Look at how even that is. Uh, the Tamiya, what is this, X14, sky blue, I mean, look at this.
The Vallejo, Vallejo Imperial Blue, Game Air. Uh, I only put a couple of drops of Flow Improver in that. And that's what we got. Look at that. That's a beautiful blue, isn't it? Wow. It is that deep in person, too. A little on the purplish side in person, but pretty pretty close. All these dry in a matte color, so that's why you get that dull, matte, semi-gloss look to it. Oh, and last but not least, the color I am working on. This is Graphite for Mecha Empire. This will be uh, an official color, hopefully out in a week or so. And there it is. Look at that. Is that a beautiful color? Look at that. Same on the plate, nice and even. And that's an enamel. Uh, I thinned it a little bit with uh, what I use, my Mecha Empire Air Force thinner. But if you don't have it, use that. I use that on one, two, three of these. I use a, a lack of thinner on three of these. And of course, don't use it on the Vallejo. And there you go. It's a terrific airbrush. Very comfortable. Very comfortable. Uh, I put this on. It doesn't come with that, the quick release. But um, uh, I'm impressed. The magnet comes in handy while you're working. I, I even forget it's on there sometimes. And uh, now it's around 200 bucks, at least 200. Uh, not cheap. But you get the three cups. You get the nice system with the. But it performs and it's very comfortable and it's built like a tank. We'll see how long it lasts. Uh, don't know. Uh, if anything's going to last unless I use it for quite a while. But uh, right now I'm impressed with it. At first I wasn't, but a couple others I wasn't impressed with right away either. And I ended up loving the things and using them every day. But uh, I will be using this quite often. It's a nice size. 0.3 is a nice size. I like to get a 0.5. A 0.7, I might need a bigger compressor. That's a big needle. That's like uh, almost a spray gun, like painting a car. But I, I think the way this pushes paint, I think the 0.5 might be good to test for clears for doing uh doing car bodies you know go by in one shot you know two shots and you're done that's that's the way to get it just right so uh yeah that is it i do recommend it i will put the link below uh if you guys are interested and in, you know again i'm talking about how wide it paints but don't forget it does do these beautiful uh pencil line uh quality so uh it, it is there they recommend you uh, lubricate the needle i use uh Reg Jab, which is Badger spelled backwards. This is their needle juice. All right, say it three times. And um, they recommend you just pour it on there a little bit, a little dab. Wipe it off with the, uh, with uh, hold on, let me get a rag. You know, put some on here and just pull the needle through it just so it coats it a little bit. And um, they said it goes a long way. It's, 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 it helps with the maintenance uh, long term. So uh, I'll, I'll put a link below for the for the needle juice which is also good for putting on all the joints and these trigger ones have more joints you know right here the trigger mechanism the spring mechanism in here so uh, a good uh, you don't want to use WD-40 or that type you need to use this type of uh, this type of oil which is for like for hair clippers and whatnot and um, that's it all right guys uh, thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't already because you can see in the background we have a lot more stuff to test and uh, I just got these Autobahn uh, primers in from creative all kinds of colors and we're going to do the candy test soon with uh, them too i just got in a bunch of ak or real colors these are like tamiya's they're an acrylic lacquer hybrid beautiful color so uh, i got the uh hobby meals in the background we're going to be testing these are supposedly beautiful colors those are coming up and of course hopefully in a week or two i'll have a bunch of new colors for my mecha empire lineup uh you got a sneak preview of one right here and we're going to have all kinds of bright colors and slime greens like this. And we're going to have all kinds of colors. And uh, you guys should be pretty happy with that. Anyway, guys, that is all for the video. The next video coming up, uh, I'm going to try and do the display metal colors. I think I will do that tomorrow or Tuesday. So I'll get that video up as soon as I can. And after that, I got another airbrush test with the free airbrush giveaway. You guys are going to be happy uh, with that. That's going to be a great contest coming up. Hopefully by the end of the week. Anyway, guys, thanks so much. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to like the video. It helps a lot. And uh, thanks for sticking around to the end. And we'll see you in the next video.